The original curved windscreen fitted to the prototypes was replaced in operational service by an inclined flat armoured one. The Whirlwind Fighter project obtained an original windscreen and frame for reference and display, the original unfortunately being too badly damaged to use on the aircraft. It is now on permanent display at the Kent Battle of Britain Museum. The manufacture of the new frame presented a number of engineering and casting challenges. The frame's lower section also provides a structural component to a top section of the fuselage. The casting pattern is fairly straightforward but requires a large core box to produce the return angle that forms the structural aspect. The main challenge being that the mainframe is of a very thin, deep, 90 degree angle cross section with the front windscreen retaining cover attachment lugs cast onto the outside. This not only presented some very careful CNC machining operations for the pattern, but also a complex in-gate arrangement for the casting process required to prevent coal shuts occurring in the mould due to the very thin cross section of the frame. This required a spider gate in the top moulding box to allow multiple feeds in the mould cavity. To ensure stability of the pattern it was made from a high density polyurethane tooling board material. Very expensive but the only way to prevent warping of the large and very thin pattern. A gravity feed green sand moulding process was undertaken to produce the frame. High strength LM25 aluminium alloy being used to meet the original material specification. Melting point 720 degrees C and pouring temperature around the 650 degrees C mark. After degassing the melt to ensure no porosity or inclusions, a Class A casting was produced. After fettling the casting, the lugs that hold the forward quarter panels and the windscreen retaining front cover were drilled and tapped. An awkward job given the radial displacement of the holes and the size and the shape of the windscreen frame. The front retaining cover is a complex sheet metal component and would have originally been produced using the single former and rubber pad pressing method. Economies of scale prevented the use of this method, reliant on farmers bolsters and manual techniques being employed to achieve the required form of the cover. The forward transparent quarter panels were manufactured from 3 inch thick polycarbonate. CNC machined to the correct shape. The panels were then heated to 150 degrees C then drape formed over a large former. In itself a full-scale mock-up of the forward section of the canopy structure. The windscreen was CNC profiled and then 3D machined from 30mm thick polycarbonate to fit the inside frame and also to fit the curved inclined frame base that forms part of the cockpit's upper structure. A very time-consuming process given the nature of the shape and the material used. The rear view mirror sat inside a streamlined cast aluminium fairing. The fairing in turn being fixed to an internal bracket. 
that bolted onto the top lugs of the windscreen frame. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity run by a group of dedicated volunteers. If you feel you could assist in recreating this iconic World War II fighter, please visit our Facebook and web pages. Any donations can be made through our GoFundMe page. Also, please visit our active partner in the Whirlwind Fighter Project and future home of the whirlwind, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum. Many thanks.